If you're into vibe coding, you're going to love this app called Emergent. And in this video, I'm going to build a web app completely from scratch with zero coding knowledge. And you can follow along and see exactly how easy it is to do. Now, here's the thing with Emergent. If you haven't heard of them, well, let me tell you that they already have a million users, which is incredible. And in just a couple of months, they managed to reach $10 million annual recurring revenue with their subscription. So they're definitely doing something right and in this video we're going to put them to the test and see if we can build this complete web app that includes everything that you need so you don't have to go and integrate with separate services like you do with a lot of other vibe coding apps so with that let's get started so let's take a quick look at the interface here in emergent and once again there's a link underneath this video if you want to go and try them out this is where you put your main prompt here of what you would like it to build then just down here you can also attach images and files to help it um, determine what it should be doing and then just here, we've got the connection to uh, GitHub as well. And then this is where you choose the different versions of Emergent. Best to go with the E-1, which is stable. And then this is if you really want to go to town on using as much AI compute power as possible to think through all the issues that the system will come across as it develops your app. And to use that, you need to be on a higher plan. But I found I'm able to do what I need to do um, without having to use that. Then you can choose whether you want to make this public so anyone can view your app or you want to make it private. And then just here, we've got some advanced controls where you've got the chance to choose how much budget effectively in tokens here, in credits, that you want to allocate to this particular project. And we can talk more about um, the credit system and everything later on. And then the model that you want to use. Now, I am going to use this one, Claude for uh, Sonnet, which a lot of people are using at the moment in the coding world and who uh, really rave about. So this should be good. So what am I going to build? Well, I came across this color palette system here called Coolers, which I really like. You basically go and upload an image and then from that image, it will just pull out a really cool color palette that you can see just here. And then you can get it to, uh, you can manually adjust it as well and do all sorts to create um, beautiful palette. And then you can export them, uh, you know, as all these different things right here. I thought that was really good little web app. It's very popular online. So I'd like to build my own version. So I'm going to paste in my prompt right here and I'll just give you a quick overview of it. It says build a web app called Color Palette Extractor where users can upload an image. The app automatically extracts the dominant five to seven colors from the image and displays them as color swatches uh, with hex, RGB and HSL values and so on. And then back end integrations include user authentication so people can log in and sign up and then they can save their palettes. So not a huge prompt as you can see. It's only sort of bullet point prompts, but pretty accurate as to what it is I want. Now let's let Emergent go to work, our online developer, and see what it can produce for us. So here's our first response from Emergent. And what, what it's doing is asking some clarifying questions, which is always good because, again, you're going to get better results that way than it just making up its own mind as to what you want about everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, answer all of these. First thing that it wants to know is uh, AI integration for palette names. You mentioned AI generated names for the palettes like Ocean Breeze and so on. Which AI provider would you prefer? Well, I'm just going to go with this one, which is OpenAI's GPT-5. So that answers that question. You see how easy it is? You just put two and then answer the question. User authentication. How should users sign up or log in? Uh, B is a Google Emergent based uh, Google social login recommended for production. Let's go with that one then. Let's do that. Emergent based Google social login. Going to do that. Then three, color extraction. Do you have any preference for the color extraction method? Um, this one is client-side JavaScript processing, faster with no backend processing, Python, more control server side. I'm just going to use JavaScript. Why not? Nice and simple. And then for number four, additional features, any specific features we would like prioritized. Export palette as images, share palette with others, search filter. I'm I'm just going to put all of them. Why not? Let's do all of them. There we are. And then you just press enter and off it goes again, having a little think about what you've said and then putting together a plan to start creating your web app for you. And obviously this is just so much easier if you're a non-coder than learning code from scratch and then having to learn how to create, you know, proper environments to create these web apps, get them online, make them secure. Emergent is just doing all of this stuff for you as it goes along.
Now, what you'll find with Emergent is when it gets to the point of having created enough code for the app to be visible, it will appear in this window on the right hand side in the app preview. And you can see it looks really, really good exactly as we wanted it right there. And in fact, it's done it. It's tested it and it's finished. So it says excellent. The app is working beautifully and we'll see about that. I can see a clean modern interface with Chroma Snap branding. That's what it's called us. Gradient background design um, following design guidelines upload area with proper styling two tabs google login button in the header professional typography using interfont let me now use the deep testing agent to test all the core functionality so what it's doing now which i really like is it's it's literally doing the qa part of creating an app the quality assessment and it's going to go over its own app and make sure everything works and then we'll try it out so the testing is now done look at that it says fantastic Fantastic. The AI integration is working perfectly. The uh, OpenAI GPT-5 model successfully generated a creative palette named Electric Bouquet. So that's really, really good. Look at that. Um, and then it's given you a full report of everything that it's done, but the proof is in the pudding. So we get to now preview this app and we just, you know, click the word preview and you can see it on the right hand side there. If you want to open it in a new tab like that, that's obviously a little bit better. So let's upload a couple, well, one image, try it out. I'm going to upload this really nice autumn image that I found on Pexels and see if it can grab some of these beautiful colors out of here to create a palette. And you can then use that palette for anything you want. Wow, look at that. <laughs> that was super, super quick. We've got um, the hex and then the RGB and the HSL codes for all of those lovely colors just there. And then if we want to, we can copy them all or we can export. So let's try that. What happens when we do that? Oh, there we go. Got ourselves an image. A Let's open it up and look at that. A complete color palette there. Now this is brilliant if you want to, you know, use these in Canva now to start creating uh, lots of different kinds of content or give them straight to your designer, one or the other, and they know exactly what colors you want to use, say for your website or something like that. But this has all been done in minutes using Emergent. Now I see there's no obvious way here of how you can save your palette once it's been created. In fact, if we just do another picture, there we go. Look at this one. This one's a beautiful picture of a beach. Again, it works absolutely brilliantly, super, super quick, but there's no obvious way to go and save this and sign up and everything. So I'm going to make some adjustments to the um, app and that is very, very easy with Emergent. All you need to do is go over here and just tell it what it is you want to change. So I'm going to write that out now and then we'll see what it does. So there we are. It has made a whole load of adjustments and here are the adjustments that it's done. We've changed from using Google to actually signing up with a, the login, username and password word and then um, we've got drag and drop fix because there was one thing I noticed if you drag an image into this area it didn't work it just took over the screen so that should now be fixed we've got a save button where you can save the palette now and then some technical improvements uh, back end bcrypt hashing and authentication endpoints sorry no idea what that means but we will trust Emergent to sort that out. Uh, secure user and session, session management. And then it's just done a full test again. So like an eager puppy, Emergent has done a fantastic job of making all of the changes that I wanted and actually um, telling me exactly what it's done, which is brilliant. So here it is. We've just got it in a new window right here. And now we can just drag our image straight over and into here. There was a little issue with that before, which I told it about and it sorted it out. And then there's our lovely palette all animated like this. And if you click on any individual color, it will just copy that particular hex code, as you can see up there. But what I really like is now that I have logged in, we just click save palette. And then if we go up to our palettes here, look at that. You can see it's been made right there. We've got all of our palette lined up. It's given it the name of Patina, uh, Patina Tides. Oh, sorry. This is the new one that's just come in now. Uh, Verdigris Dunes, apparently. I'm not even sure what Verdigris means, but I'm sure it's something uh, suitable. And then we can export this just as we could before as a, a nice PNG with all of the color codes in. And we can also copy all of the hex numbers, which works lovely now. And then we can delete this palette if we no longer want it. So I'll just delete this one. And then we can share the palette with other people 
like this. Look at that. Download as an image, share it on social media. It's even got a share URL as well. So I think this has been absolutely fantastic. And again, this would take so much back and forth with a, um, you know, with a developer. So much time, so much money. The problem when you're hiring other people to do these kind of apps that we, you know, if you're a non-techie like me, you'd always have to hire someone to do this stuff for you is getting a good person. Sure, you can read reviews on Fiverr.com or Upwork, but it usually takes, you know, a couple of three people, different companies before you get someone that's good and can actually do what they say they can do. So now the control has gone back to you and you can create your own apps for your own business and for your own uses. So it's such a great service, which is probably why Emergent is doing 10 million ARR. So if you want to sign up, there's a link underneath this video. Let's hop back over to Emergent. Of course, now what we can do is um, properly deploy this and make this available uh, onto an app. So there's a lot of different options there. If I just close this down like so, you can see it's got this deploy button and then we can just start new deployment like this and then deploy now. It costs 50 credits to do that. And then it will actually put it live on the web and ready to go for people to start using. And we could go deep on this. We could start offering like gated features for money. I think Coolers does something similar. I think you can only do so many before you have to go pro up here. So uh, there's a lot of different options for you to actually make money with these apps as well. They don't just have to be for you. You can create them for other people. And then credits wise, if I just click on the credits there, you can see that you get 10 10 credits daily for free and then upgrading here I'm on the free one with some credits added but you can do all of these different plans the $200 a month plan is for someone who's really serious and building some big things you get an enormous 1 million uh, context window you get the ultra thinking model I showed you in the beginning of the video but you'll probably find this $20 a month plan does most people but um, don't quote me on these prices they may have changed by the time you go and look at them but I think this is way way cheaper cheaper than actually hiring someone and of course you are in control and able to do this and get the app exactly as you want because you're the one typing in the instructions. So that's it for this video. I hope you like this. Tell me what will you build if you do a bit of vibe coding with Emergent. Love to know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.